Hey guys and welcome back to Tech Force. So today we're going to be taking a look at a pair of sleek over-ear headphones by One Audio. The A10 headphones, costing not even 50 quid, have the ability to pair to more than one device at a time, as well as provide up to 40 hours of battery on a single charge. So could these be the best pair of budget headphones out there? Well, let's start with what comes inside the box. So we get the headphones themselves, a nice protective case, a USB-C charging cable, a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter jack audio cable, an airplane adapter, and then the manuals. So in terms of what we're actually getting, this is very similar to the Mixida E9 headphones that I reviewed a while ago. Although the difference in price is almost 30 quid, which is huge. Now when comparing these two sets of headphones, the Mixida E9s are certainly better sounding, but they don't have the capability of connecting to more than one device. They also don't supply 40 hours of battery life and don't utilize USB-C quick charging like the One Audio A10s do. Therefore, by purchasing these headphones, you'll be saving almost 30 quid whilst also gaining several great features. And at the end of the day, taking all these factors into account, I would definitely choose this pair of headphones, as they are a pretty good budget headset. Now if we take a look at some of the features this headset has to offer, it comes with active noise cancelling, which can be activated with a flick of a button. However, this feature is honestly not very good, and, well, it's almost completely useless. If you're looking for a headset with good noise cancelling, You'll almost definitely not find that in a budget set of headphones like this. You'll have to spend about £100 to get a decent set of headphones with the noise cancelling. In terms of sound quality, I would say these headphones aren't amazing, but they fit in well with other headphones in the same price category. Aside from the sound, they also have a nice black and silver design. Personally, I think the silver should be a matte black, as the silver tends to be easily covered in fingerprints, which does ruin the look of the headphones. But other than that, the design is very nice and quite similar to the Mixida E9s. Now when it comes to comfort, these headphones excel and they've been well padded and cushioned to make the ear cups more breathable so they can be worn for a longer period of time. These headphones also fit nicely on various head sizes as they can be easily adjusted if necessary. Okay, so overall, for 50 quid, you're getting quite a lot, and within the 50 pound price range, there are tons of competitors which may be slightly better sounding, but don't encapsulate all of the features that this set of headphones does. Nor do they come with all the various accessories which are really necessary, especially the protective case. Okay, so that's it for this review. If you like this set of headphones, go visit the link in the description below, and whilst you're there, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and goodbye.